this video, we're going to show you step by step how to perform a backup to an external hard drive. We first click backup on the left, click continue, and then pick the disk or disks that you want to back up. You then can specify the types of files you want to copy. Then you click on continue, and then you click the plus button. You need to make sure that you select disk as your media type since you're going to be writing to an external hard drive. You give your backup a name, in this case we're going to call it My Backup, and then you give your catalog file location. We're going to use the default location of the library folder, application support, retrospect, and then catalogs. We're not going to use any encryption, and we're just going to click Add. We select our media set, and then we're going to click Add Member, and we're going to highlight the hard disk we want Retrospect to use when writing the data. And then we click on Add, and then click Continue. We next click Start Now to begin doing the backup to the external hard drive. The backup will scan the drives, and then begin to copy the data. When the backup is done, you'll find a new set of folders on your external drive. So if I open up my backup disk, what I'll see there is a retrospect folder, and inside the retrospect folder will be a folder called My Backup. And inside that will be a folder called 1-My Backup. Then your backup files are stored in a series of .rdb data files that will appear in the list, and these files will be about 600 megabytes each. As future backups take place, new RDB data files will be added to this particular folder to make up your entire backup. 